does the diamond industry have a ability to protect itself, to have another kind of a filter other than boom, whatever happens at retail happens to us. We are tied to a sinking ship and we're done. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. And I think that's an important thing that we want to understand. Now, the story of Signet's share price, um, I don't want to go into the first thing, it's a fine company. They're nice people. They're doing what they can, um, but their share price doesn't lie. And people are bidding, they're buying, they're selling, they're doing whatever they want. Now, the 71% decline is, is significant. Um, and so when we look at Signet, we say, are we all Signet? bound and because you know signet's got a lot of stores and malls it's got a lot of ways of doing business it sells all kinds of stuff so is this telling us is this going to be us the diamond and jewelry industry in general i don't think so obviously but it's it's it's, it's a warning it's, it's something we should be aware of so let's dig in a little bit deeper okay let's look at tiffany so signet takes a bath Okay, drops 93% since January 2016. But, you know, here they were the same. Here they, here they were the same. Yes, it was actually above them. And then Tiffany went one way, Signet went another. And maybe this talks to branding. This talks to what is your message. This talks to how you run your business, maybe. I don't think Signet's run by bad people or anything. So you got to think about the value of brands and jewelry and where this goes. But you need to remember something here. Signet sells everything or a broad range of diamonds. Tiffany's the pickiest guy in the round. I don't think the diamond industry could live just based on what we can sell or do business with Tiffany and Cartier and Boucheron and Van Cleef. Da, 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 da. They're very big. That's the, the, the top of the pyramid, right? What about the base of the pyramid? So we got to understand what are we going to do about this? And I'm pointing this out because this isn't just coronavirus okay here you got oh, coronavirus coronavirus waking us up okay this over here but this other movement is not that safe and look what else this means you know, let me really freak you out okay you know signet um and th this here tells you these are market caps okay so tiffany was worth 2.16 you know two times what the market cap in 2010 and it, it was almost the same in 2015 but look what happened in 2018, even though Signet sold about 50% more revenues, yeah, 6.2 billion, 4.4, the market cap went to 9.6 here and it dropped to 1.8 there. Big drops, drop, drop, drop. So you got to five times, six. Now, and this is just like yesterday, you're at 25 times. I mean, Tiffany's worth 25 times what Signet is worth. And probably, you know, I would be surprised if, now I don't know who's selling anything, but, and, 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 even, and even the market cap dropped to Tiffany. They were lucky, someone came in to buy them, you know. But even here, it was five times. The point is, you know, Signet's at $530 million today, which is not a lot of money. I mean, I could probably put together some buddies and we could buy them, but what will we do with them? So, you know, you got to think about this. What is going on over here? What kind of retail is happening? And what's going to happen now that we've had this virus and we have this move to digital and all this stuff is happening. And so there's a lot of change, a lot of change in the works over here.